guys, so today I just wanted to do a quick video all about the 10K and this is challenge that I ran last weekend. I got some questions about like, what the heck is this? Okay, like you ran a 10K, but like what's a distance challenge? And um, so I just wanted to explain it and explain why I ran it. And also just kind of, um, I've already talked about my running journey, but I just wanted to sort of elaborate on it a little bit more in this video. Um, also, sorry if I seem a little down or if I sound a little weird, I am sick yet again. I've just got like a bit of a head cold this time, but yeah, I'll go into that a little bit in this video as well. So a 10K, for those of you who don't know, is 6.2 miles. Um, so the first race that I ran, both races were trail races, but the first race that I ran was supposed to be 6.2 miles. It was actually more like six and a half, just because of the way the course was marked. Um, race courses are almost always inaccurate, so that is something I've discovered. They're usually a little more, sometimes they're a little less, but it just depends on who's marking the course. So yeah, it ended up being about six and a half miles. And the whole distance challenge aspect of it was to run the 10K in under an hour and a half, which is definitely doable, and then to turn right around and run a 5K immediately after. Um, you could run either race. You could do just the 10K or just the 5K, or you could do both. Initially, I was just going to do the 5K when I found out about the races. And then, you know, a few weeks later, I was like, you know, I think I could do the 10K because I was like working my way up to that six mile distance in my training. I'm well past that now. I'm a little past 11 miles right now. Um, but in my training, I was working up to that six mile distance. And I was like, you know what? I think by July I could do this. Um, I'm gonna do the 10k and then I was talking to my friend about it and I was like you know I'm not really sure like I think I could do the 10k I might just do the 5k and she's like well what are your trail split times and I was like so I told her I was like you know I usually hold about 12s on a race or um oh my gosh what am I saying I usually hold about 12 a 12 minute pace on a trail and she's like oh I think you you could definitely do the distance challenge you could definitely do both so we were talking about it she was just really encouraging me um to do both races so I was like you know what I think I could do it so I signed up and then a couple weeks ago, I was like, what have I gotten myself into? So a couple weeks ago, I actually got food poisoning. And then last week, on the 4th of July of all days, I ended up getting the stomach flu or a stomach bug. So um, like three days before the race, I was so sick I couldn't get out of bed. Like I was in the bathroom or I was in my bed. That was it. <laughs> I was throwing up everything I had eaten in the past two days. It was awful. So... This was on Wednesday that I was really sick. So by Saturday, I was just glad that I made it through the race. Like genuinely, that was just my goal was to finish both. And I did. Um, so the 5K ended up being about 3.6 miles. <clears throat> Sorry. So yeah, altogether, it was about 10.1 miles almost. So it was supposed to be a 9.3 mile race. And it ended up being just a little over 10 miles. So yeah, that's just <laughs> that's just the way the courses were marked. Um, the guy that was in charge of the races is like, yeah, I just throw in that extra distance for free. So he threw in like about 0.8 <laughs> extra, <laughs> almost a full mile. So whatever. But yeah, so I was just, my goal was just to finish. And I cannot believe that after being so sick on Wednesday and then the Tuesday before that, like a week and a day before that, I was sick throwing up even then. <laughs> like it was different different cause but I was still sick so yeah I cannot believe that three days after I was so sick I ran 10 miles and finished both races so my goal was to finish the 10k my original goal was to finish the 10k in an hour and 15 minutes um so that I had some time to um you know like re like collect myself after the race like I didn't want to finish in exactly an hour and 30 because I wanted some time to like collect myself after the 10k you know get some carbs in me rehydrate cool down a little bit stay in the shade walk around you know stretch out um so that was my goal was an hour 15 I finished in about an hour and 20 but you know I did finish so I was a few minutes off my original goal there but like I said my goal as of that day after being so sick was to just finish <laughs> the race um, and hope that I finished it in an under, under an hour and a half so I could do the 5k. Um, so I did. I had about 10 minutes to spare there between the two races, so that was nice. And then my original goal was to finish the 5k in about 39 minutes. I ended up finishing it in 49 minutes. It was the slowest 5k of my life. Again, it was about 3.6 miles, so the extra half a mile should have added, you know, maybe five or six minutes, seven minutes or so to my time, depending on, <laughs> you know, how slow I ran. But it added 10 minutes to my time, so um, I was running quite slowly in the 5k. Um, I was running about my average pace in the 10k. I was not holding back really, but I was not pushing. Um, I was just kind of running my average pace. Like I, I didn't want to push too fast because I knew I still had three, 
three and a half miles after that. But I also wasn't holding back because I knew I had that time limit. Like you had to finish it in an hour and a half to be able to do the 5K. So I knew I had that time limit. So I was just kind of going by my average pace on a trail, which right now is about 12 minutes. Um, I know that seems slow to those of you who are, you know, real runners <laughs> who have been running for a long time. I mean, I, I guess I consider myself a real runner now, but um, I've only basically been running since January. I know I ran years ago, but I really did just completely start over in January. So for a person that's been running about six months, a 12 minute time on a trail, I feel like is pretty average. So that's my normal time on a trail. And that's about what I ran during the 10K. Um, I can run an 11, a, even a sub 11 on roads, but um, pushing on a trail would give me about a sub 12. And I wasn't pushing, I think my first mile was sub 12 and then every mile after that was like 12-ish <laughs> um, for the 10K. But for the 5K, I think, I mean you can do the math, but I think it was like a 13, basically like a 13 minute pace <laughs> for the 5K. Um, no, it would have been even slower than that, oh my gosh like a 15. I think my first mile was like 13. And then after that, I think I ran like 15s. Um, I actually did walk a couple times in the 5k, which is rare for me in a race. Like I don't think I've ever walked in a race before. There were a couple big hills that I walked up. I was just completely exhausted. Um, like I did refuel in between the 10k and the 5k. I like took some gel, some carb gel. Um, I use the Gatorade brand, but there's a lot of different brands out there. Um, so I did like a little 20 grams of car or gel <laughs> between the two races, but um, I still was just completely exhausted. I actually had an older lady that we ran together. We run in the same run group, so we're friends. And she finished about a solid minute ahead of me in the 10K. And then in the 5K, I think she finished like a solid minute behind me. <laughs> but we actually ran together for most of the 5K. And we were both just like pushing each other, you know, like just finish, just get through it. Um, she was nursing an injury. She had injured, I think, her shoulder and her hamstring. She was dealing with all of that. And I was dealing with the sickness. Like my stomach hurt so bad during both races even worse during the 5k and then like the last mile of the 5k I was like oh my god I'm so hungry like it finally hit me I hadn't been hungry in three or four days you know just from being sick and it finally hit me in that last mile. like I was at like mile 2.5 and I was like oh my god I'm so hungry and so I was just pushing myself to finish that last mile just so I could get some freaking food so it was kind of nice to be hungry and have my appetite return to normal definitely running 10 miles I guess will kind of like reset your body yeah so I feel like this video is kind of all over the place um, I don't mean it to be I was just kind of trying to like go through my thought process of the 10k followed by the 5k so basically I ran 15k which ended up like I said to be a little over 10 miles um, the 10k was my longest race. The longest race I've ever run before this was 5 miles, so that 6.2, which ended up being 6.5, um, was the longest race I've ever run. And then of course you combine that with the distance challenge, ended up being almost, or a little over 10 miles. And that's definitely the longest race I've ever run. Um, so I do have a half marathon coming up in October. So, you know, that'll be obviously three miles longer, but I've run, they say if you can run 10 miles, you can run a half marathon. Um, and I am up to 11 miles down in my training. So I feel like I will definitely be able to finish that half marathon in my goal time. So that was just kind of a summary, a very jumbled thought summary of my 10K and 5K distance challenge. I am happy with myself for finishing. I was obviously about 15 minutes total off of my time. I wanted to run the whole thing in under two hours. And I think my total time was like 210. I think if you do the math for everything, um, it was like almost two hours and 10 minutes. So I was about 15 minutes off of my goal time, but I ran it. Like I did it and I finished and that's the important thing. I have noticed though in the last you know two or three weeks I haven't really progressed. I haven't really gotten any faster um, and I think a lot of that is just due to the sickness but I, I look back at like the last two months and two and a half about no like a month and a half ago about six weeks or so ago I ran five and a half miles two minutes slower than I ran six and a half miles last weekend. So you know I look back at you know my two month progress and I ran a mile more in about two minutes less time so and of course it's a race the pace is going to be faster um, but that's something I wanted to mention too the 10k pace was pretty much a normal race pace but the 5k pace was super slow and I think it's because most of the 5k runners had also done the 10k so everyone was tired I think the fastest 5k finisher was like 28 minutes or something like it was super super slow so like even the winner of the 5k didn't have to run that fast I think the winner would held like a nine minute pace 
which is super slow. Uh, the winner of the 10K held a six minute pace. So um, I think it was just because, like I said, most people ran the, um, the 10K and there were also a lot of walkers in the 5K as well. So I think just like the pace of the 5K itself was so much slower. So will I do this again next year? I don't know. I probably will only run one race or the other. The 10K I know would be still a bit of a challenge, I think even in a year. Uh, to get my time down closer to right in an hour. I don't think it could shave 20 minutes off in a year, but getting it closer down to that hour mark would be nice. Um, I don't know, maybe I will run a sub hour 10K in a year. Who knows what work I can do in a year. But yeah, so that would be a challenge for me to get my time down for sure. But then also part of me is like, mm, I could just run the 5K and like place in the top three of my age group because <laughs> the time is so slow. You know what I mean? Like the pace is so slow. So if I didn't run the 10K part, then I could run the just the 5K and like be one of the top three finishers potentially, you know, like in my, um, like in the women's division or in my age group or whatever. So I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what I do. Um, they also changed the series of races every year. I think a couple years ago they did like um, a 5K, an 8K, and a 10K like series. And then they've changed the rules of that, I guess, just because of the trails um, or they changed I think the trails changed their rules is what I'm trying to say. And so they had to kind of change the, um, like the structure of this trail race. So I don't know if it's the same next year. We'll just see what I do. I think I'll still do the event no matter what. I'm just not sure which race I'll run. I don't know that I'll ever do the distance challenge again. That was a little much for me. I still to this day, like cannot, I mean, I know it's only been a few days, but like I cannot believe that I actually finished 10 miles at all. Like I can't believe I raced 10 miles. And then I also can't believe I did it just a couple days after being so sick. My husband was even saying, he's like, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> like, I don't know how you did it. You're amazing. And I was like, well, you know what my goal, like all of my time goals kind of went out the window after I got sick. I was just like, I just want to finish, you know? Um, so speaking of my husband, I wanted to talk a little bit about my running journey this year, and actually he's going to be starting his as well. Um, I don't know if he'll do any videos or, you know, talk about his running journey at all, um, but he actually has been hanging around with me and my run group, like when we go hang out and stuff, he'll hang out with me and my friends. And at the uh, trail race this weekend, this past weekend, he got really inspired <laughs> by all of us, I guess, out there. Like he keeps saying, like, I inspired him, you know, whatever. So we actually went out and bought a really nice pair of shoes and insoles and socks and like invested and all this stuff. And he's been really into hiking lately. So he's been doing like the, like he'll hike trails while I run and like I'll, um, it's funny because like he'll hike like a mile or two out and I'll like laugh him while <laughs> I'm doing like my five or six miles or whatever. And so we laugh about it and he'll like hang his hang hammock up, like he'll hike out and hang his hammock and like wait while I run my longer distances sometimes. So it's kind of funny, but he has decided he wants to get into running as well. Um, so it's really, really cool that my run group that I've been with for like the past four months now inspired me to do this race, to do this longer distance. Um, I would not have done this longer distance without them. And now I am sort of inspiring someone else to start running. So, um, I feel like you, with this type of thing, you pass on what you receive. I have received a lot of inspiration and a lot of help. And so I will be passing that on to him, obviously, and doing my best to help him in his running journey, just like I've been helped. Um, my run group, I I know I said this in my last video, and I don't mean to like gush about a group of people that like I don't even show on YouTube or anything, but I, like I genuinely, I know I would not be where I am six months into my running journey without them. If I was trying to do this on my own, I don't think I would have even done this race this past weekend. I just don't think I'd be pushing myself as much as I am. So we have a great resource in our coach. He is fantastic. Um, he runs like 100 milers and wins them. Um, so he is phenomenal and he's such a resource to us and he like passes on his knowledge willingly which is amazing. You know some people that are that good could just sit in their house all the time and just be good and not try to help other runners but he does and it's fantastic. So I will be, you know, urging my husband obviously to speak with him some and glean some of the knowledge that I have gleaned from him. But yeah, so my running journey this year, I just wanted to speak about it just a little bit because I'm now about six months in. I'm a little over six months, but I've been running steadily for six months. This is something I never thought that I would get back into. Even just like a year ago, I would have never seen myself getting back into running 
running races, running 10 miles, running even a 10K, that's something that a year ago I would not have seen myself doing. And it literally just took the new year rolling around and me deciding I'm gonna change up my gym routine. I'm gonna start running on the treadmill instead of only lifting weights because I was so opposed to cardio because you know, <laughs> of all of the things that I know. Um, and so now adding obviously running and not just more cardio, but adding a, a running training plan in with my resistance training, I feel like has made me so much stronger as a person, obviously as I guess I'm technically an athlete again now, um, which is cool to say, you know, I've run technically three races or two, however you want to look at it so far this year, I have at least one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have about six more races this year that I have signed up for or do plan on signing up for. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's crazy. I was only signed up for, or I would have only been signed up for one of them if it weren't for my run group. I would have done maybe two or three races this year. Definitely two. Maybe I would have found this race anyway and probably done the 5K. Who knows? But I definitely would not have done eight or nine races <laughs> in a year <laughs> um, if I weren't for my run group. So yeah, if you are trying to start something new, whether it be running or whatever, find a camaraderie. Find someone that will help motivate you and that you can learn from and that you can even potentially um, teach, you know, you, you guys learn from each other, I feel like is what I'm trying to say. And so no matter what it is, if you're trying to get into something, if it's a sport, if it's art, if it's whatever it is, um, just find like-minded people and find people that are, you know, have similar goals as you and are interested in the same thing and will motivate you to do your best, basically. Even now, I cannot believe that I'm here. I cannot believe I ran that distance. Um, I am doing a 10 miler next April. That's my goal. Um, I plan to sign up for uh, like a triple crown race, a series of races, I guess, next spring. And the last one of that is a 10 miler. So hopefully by then 10 miles will seem easy and it'll be on a road. Um, so, you know, that's not quite a year away. I was going to say it's about a year, but it's really not quite like nine months or so away at this point. So hopefully by then 10 miles will seem easy. I did say I had a few more races this year. I have one in August. Um, it's basically, it's a 3.25 mile loop and you run however many loops you want. You could run just one if you wanted. Oh, it's a really expensive 5k. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what the record is like for a number of loops. I know if you run 10 loops, that's an ultra distance. And so you get like something extra for that. Um, my goal is to run four loops. Um, you have eight hours to do it. So, you know, I could run a loop, sit down and rest for a little bit, run another loop. And I'm, I don't have like a time limit on those loops. Like I don't want to run them in a certain amount of time. Like I just want to do them. So I want to run four loops. It's exactly 13 miles. And I think that'll be great prep for my half marathon in October. So this event is in August. It's just about a month away now. Um, and it is with my run group, so it'll just be a great day of all of us just out there running the loop. I don't even care if I walk one of the loops, um, I just want to do it. So it's just a day you just go out there and you run as much as you want, or you sit as much as you want. Apparently you drink in between, and then afterwards you go have a big after party. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what's going on in about a month. Um, and then in September I have a 5K and a 10K, not in the same day. <laughs> they are two weekends apart. Um, they, like I, I have a weekend off in between. So I have the 5K and then a weekend off and then a 10K. And then I have, I think, three weekends off and then I have my half marathon. And then I think I have two weekends off and then I have another 5K. It's just a beer run for fun. It's like, we're not even gonna worry about our time. We're just gonna drink beer and have fun. And that's with like one of my best running run group friends. Um, and that's in November. So basically for the next four months, I have something happening. And then who knows what's gonna happen in December. But yeah, uh, September is going to be really busy, like September and October are going to be really busy as far as races and training. Um, but yeah, I will do videos about some of those things, probably not all of those races, but I definitely about the half marathon, I'll definitely do a video about that because that is my first official half marathon. Like the four loops that I'm doing in August that I plan to do won't be, like they won't be an official half marathon or anything. Um, it won't even really be 13.1, it'll be exactly 13. So I just want to do it like as kind of training prep for the half marathon and also just to go out there and have fun. If for some reason I didn't get my fourth loop in, you know, I only did three loops, I wouldn't be devastated. Um, I want to get in four loops, but we'll just see what happens. It's more of a fun event rather than like a timed event, you know? So 
All right, um, I think I'm going to stop talking now because my SD card is about to run out of memory. I thought I deleted all of my footage, but apparently it didn't actually clear off my card. So I'm going to stop talking before I run out of tape, <laughs> as Jason Nash says, even though it's not tape. Um, and yeah, I hope this video is helpful. If I didn't answer any questions that you had, please ask me in the comments. As always, I'll do my best to answer your questions. Um, I hope you're having a great Friday as always. <laughs> I say the same thing at the end of every video, but like, how else would I end my videos, right? Um, yeah, so have a great day and I will see you guys next week. Bye.